talk to you about how to do a word study on your phone. All right, we're just going to start here from the home screen. We're going to open the Olive Tree Bible app. That's this little green one here at the, at the bottom. There's actually a couple of ways we're going, to, we're going to do this. First, I'm just going to do a search for the word hospitality, and I've already typed it up there. Uh, so we do a search, and you see the number of, of verses that come up. This kind of makes a concordance that we used to use with paper versions obsolete. And uh, the verse I want to uh, look at is this one right here, Romans 12, 13. So we click on that, go to location, and it opens up right there. And I want to draw your attention to this little phrase here, practice hospitality, practice hospitality. Let me click on the first word, and uh, we see the Greek word is dioko. If you don't know how to pronounce the Greek letters, it's down here. It'll say dioko, and you, you can see it there. And there opens up right away a, a Greek dictionary and a basic definition, to pursue, to persecute. Now, that's interesting because the word uh, was translated in this case, practice, but apparently it's a pretty strong word because it's translated in most cases to pursue or persecute, to systematically oppress and harass a person or a group as an extended meaning of pursuing a person on foot in, in a chase. Also from the image of chase comes the meaning of striving and pressing on. You might think of Philippians 4, I press on toward the goal. We'll get to that in a second. Press on toward the goal with, with intensity and, and so on. So anyway, we'll get a, a basic definition there, and you may not want to go any farther than that, but if we do go any farther than that, we've got a couple other uh, choices. We can search for, and this is going to search for not the word practice, but where the underlying Greek word, dioko, is used, in this case, in the NIV. And you can see it's used six or eight times, a few more, it looks like, actually. Uh, but anyway, you can see it's used uh, a, a, a number of times in, in here, and you can see, in fact, uh, persecute, pursue, persecute, running after. Uh, we'll get down to that uh, passage from uh, Philippians just for fun here in, in a second. Here we go. I press on toward the goal and it's highlighted. And that shows you that the underlying Greek word there is the same as what is translated per, uh, uh, practice in, in this case. So if we go back to this uh, uh, practice, uh, we showed you where the, the uh, definition was. And then we also show what, what happens when we hit search. And then if we look up Dioko, uh, we can find this in a, a couple of Bible dictionaries, as many as you've purchased. This app, by the way, you can get, I think it's free, the app itself, uh, there's a number of versions of it. Uh, and then the books cost more or less what they would cost for the paper uh, uh, copy of the book, although they have pretty intense uh, sales from time to time. My favorite Greek dictionary is this one right here, CWSB, that's Complete Word Study Dictionary. So let's look it up in there. And uh, once again, we have the word uh, dioko, uh, from dio to pursue, uh, prosecute or persecute, but also to pursue in a good sense, to, to uh, prosecute, persecute, pursue with repeated acts of enmity. enmity. And you see the other places uh, where it's used and some more definition there. So that's how we can uh, use the Olive Tree Bible app. Let me show you another Bible app we can use. This is the Logos Bible app, and I'm not sure if it's free or not, but the books themselves uh, once again, you're going to pay. I use this one primarily, quite honestly, on the uh, uh, desktop. Don't use it that much on, on the, the, the app itself. Usually I use the Olive Tree app. But let's do a search, as we did before, on uh, Logos Hospitality. And a new window opens in this case, and uh, it is actually searching by default for top Bibles. So the English word under the top Bibles, you see the NIV is here. I prioritize these the way I wanted them. Uh, the NIV is first, the ESV is next. We'll work our way down, the NLT, the New Living Bible, is, is next, and so on. But anyway, let's find our verse that we looked at before, Romans 12, 13. And it'll open it again in a new, in a new window. And... Uh, Here it is up at the very top, practice hospitality. Now, if we just click on that, nothing happens. But if we kind of hard click or click and hold, uh, a, a definition will show up here at, at the bottom. Uh, the text in English is practice. Dio contest, that's the actual word in its form in this particular case. And the lemma, the underlying uh, what we might call the root word, dioko, is there. And this also gives you the morph uh, 
information, that is the tense and so on. We find that this is a verb, it's present tense, active. You may have heard preachers talk from time to time about a linear tense. That's a ten, that present tense happens to be a linear, linear tense. And if you do, so there's only gr six uh, Greek tenses, so it wouldn't take you that long to work out what, which one is which. Uh, but I happen to know that the present is that linear tense. So what sex, that's why some translations have this by the way, get in the habit of offering guests home for dinner, that living has it, by the way. And it's based on this present active participle. But then if I want to look it up, I can click on this and we'll find a basic Greek dictionary. You see it there. If we go back to our other window, which is still open over, no, that's not it, here. Let's see what our other choices are, practice. Uh, the other uh, thing we can do is to search, and we're looking for a search. And once again, this is searching for the underlying Greek word. You see up here at the top it says lemma, and uh, there's some Greek information up there. But we find where this underlying Greek word is used. You used to have to go to, to a Greek class to learn to, to do all this. You can do it all, all uh, for, with your phone now. And so uh, really makes it handy and, and uh, inexpensive, nice if you know a little Greek, but, uh, but if you don't, don't uh, yeah, you can still get it done. Let me show you one more time what this third option is here. Study, a, I'm gonna wait for it to come up, uh, Bible word study. This is what sold me on the Logos app, by the way. Uh, I thought this little graph here that's about to come up was so cool. And this is actually searching on the cloud. That's why it's a little bit slower. The olive tree is searching uh, on your local device and Logos is actually going out to the cloud and it's searching the library that you have and it's pretty clever technology. But I love this little graph here. It shows you that the underlying Greek word dioko around two thirds of the time, it's this blue area here, is in fact translated persecuted. You see it up there. And if we click on that blue part, uh, all the, uh, the instances of the translate persecute show up. We click on this red part all the times it's translated pursue show up down here. And so it's pretty, pretty uh, clever. Let me go back to the Olive Tree app. Let me show you one, about, one other thing. We're gonna click on the word hospitality and we see that it is philoxenia. Uh, once again, down here, if you wanna look at the English letters, phil philoxenia, hospitality, entertaining of strangers. Now we're gonna uh, look this up and see if we get a little more detail of that. Again, the complete word study bi uh, Bible. Uh, and. And let's look at this form of the word down here. It says it is from philos. And if you think through that, you might be familiar with, with the word Philadelphia. It means the uh, love of your brother. Uh, philos is a Greek word for love. It's a brotherly love kind of love. And so this word philoxenos is from philos, that word for love, friend or loving, and xenos, a stranger. So what we learn from this is that uh, biblically, the Greek word means the love of strangers. It means that if you just have your friends over, uh, that's not actually biblical hop hospitality. Biblical ho hospitality is only when you have strangers over, people you don't know. And if you include people who are not a part of your group, uh, good things tend to happen. And this is an idea that's near and dear to me. And the underlying Greek uh, here really highlights the importance of th this concept. That the uh, first word practice, sometimes translated pursue, uh, sometimes translated, usually translated persecute. It's a very strong word. And it means that we need to take very seriously, uh, seriously our obligation to pursue hospitality. And then hospitality means to love strangers. If we're just having our friends over, that's not hospitality. And uh, hopefully this a little Greek study would help you understand this particular passage and help you understand how you can use your phone to study the Word of God more carefully.